For years, forest fires have been the order of the day in Borneo. There is always a fire in some corner of the island. Most of them are started intentionally. Their background, unscrupulous greed. Since palm oil has become a worldwide demanded economic good and the prices at the commodities exchange have exploded, the oil palm plantations eat their way into the jungle like cancer growths. The easiest, even though illegal, method to gain land for new plantations is the burning down of large forest areas. Also, for the large wood companies, slash and burn is a long-practiced habit. Once the tree giants, which yield valuable tropical hardwood, are felled, the remaining vegetation is unhesitatingly burned down as wood of an inferior quality. This way, East Kalimantan alone has lost a forest area the size of the Netherlands within a few months. We are here in the east of Indonesia, here on the equator, and the biggest problem we have here is the forest fires. These fires cause gigantic damage. That is about 10 million hectares of forest. And let's have a look. In January 1998, the fires started, and then in February, March, April, May, 5.5 million hectares gone. What you can see quite clearly here on these maps is that in the beginning all of Borneo was green and then the deforestation started. They started properly in the 90s and now everything goes so incredibly fast that soon no forest will be left and everything will look like here, like burned forest. A living rainforest uses up gigantic amounts of carbon dioxide which can therefore not get into the atmosphere as greenhouse gas. There, during the process of photosynthesis, oxygen is released. If the forest is cut down and the peat which was gained from the boggy ground is also burned, then a larger forest area releases more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than the whole of Germany during one year. The protection of orangutans and climate protection are the two sides of one coin. For orangutans, forest fires are an apocalypse. If they do not perish directly in the fire, most of them will painfully die of starvation in the aftermath. Even the protected area of Sambocha Lestari is not immune to forest fires. At the speed of lightning, everyone able to swing a fire flapper or to operate a pump will rush to the flame front. The extensive fire is still not under control. There is silent horror everywhere. 